but an absolutely hard time against St. Clair College. They are the blue team this time. Yeah, the Saints are doing really well so far, leading two against their opponents, Northeastern University, and you can already see why the Saints have just had such great control from the little bit we've seen around that midfield and the aerial control. They have them, they have them beat right now in those two elements, and if you have those two, then it's pretty safe to say you're going to be having a great time in the game, but Bears with a nice save, beautifully done. If the Saints can keep this up for just this game and the rest of the next one, they're in a really good position to, go, to advance on in the loser's bracket. Yeah, they are in a very good position right now, but that could all change. You know it's sure. Rocket League. We still got three minutes left on the clock. It's not like last game where six goals on the clock <laughs> with three minutes remaining. This is three minutes remaining, only two goals. Northeastern North University could turn this around if they play their cards right, but it looks like Saints are just playing their cards a little bit better. Yeah, and their cards, uh, you know, they're all the same suit. And the, the 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 odds are looking in their favor. They are going to win the next hand if they just keep maintaining this pressure. The ball's going to hit the top, falling down, fighting for control now. Bear is trying to get to it first. He's going to succeed in taking it even closer over back to the orange side. But he's going to find his way back to the center. Besh is going to catch this one. It's not even going to bounce as he runs away with it, taking this off the ceiling towards the center. Bear is going for the shot. It's going to find its wow. mark. Beautifully executed. Classic strategy. You always see something like that. At least once you know that the team is comfortable and confident. And unfortunately for Northeastern University, they just didn't have the read and weren't able to make the save. They were not able to make the save. Couldn't get the read. Got to boost those literacy rates. As you got to try and get a better read on that ball of your Northeastern University. But it's tough to read uh, a book so dense as St. Clair College Green. It's like Moby Dick. I did hear literacy rates falling, actually. <laughs> they so. are. Wow, that's good to know, I suppose. But in any case, Christian's getting another goal. That's beautiful. That's quite possibly the best news I've ever heard in contrast to the last one we just talked about. So, Saints, two minutes in, or two minutes remaining, four on the board. Looks like they're having a Daniel time here on the on this Rocket League field of destiny. I mean, they're getting approximately a goal a minute at this point. If I had to get their goal, GPM here, the goals per minute. But <laughs> it's looking uh, relatively good for the Saints. Northeastern really needs to get some footing here or else this is going to be looking quite similar to the last game we just watched. Yeah, and Christian with a nice shot. Just the tap that was needed to send this onto the course. Not forceful enough to steer it towards the net fully, but still close enough that the Saints are able to make some plays off of the rebound. Besh intercepting that pass to Harlequin and taking it off the center towards the ground. Bears goes for the shot. Besh as well, but Frost is there to keep that one from flying in. Christian going for the pin shot off the ceiling. Beautifully done. This guy, I, I need a... Hey, Christian, if you're listening back to this at any point, I gotta say, your mechanics are very impressive, my friend. I, I You're really good at this game, I have to admit it. Yeah, Christian is on another level indeed. Not to say that Vesh is not. Paris, a new addition to this roster here. Stepping the up. Team. Stepping up. Absolutely being an amazing supportive player here as well. Finding some goal own goals as well. Harlequin going for that long range shot, but you know the Saints are going to react to that. One minute left on the clock. Four and oh. This is looking like a bit of a repeat of that last game for sure, 6-0. Oh, if they get two more, then they are literally in the exact same circumstance they were in prior, but 45 on the clock. I feel like they might just be content to keep stalling at the time, prevent Northeast from getting one on the board. That does a lot of mental damage to your opponents and destroys the confidence, but <laughs> Christian getting into a bit of a full head-on collision with Harlequin. They're both gonna go down 30 on the clock. Saints taking this one pretty comfortably. Can they repeat Ooh. themselves in the next game? Actually, well, you know, it's not impossible. It's pretty impossible. But still. <laughs> still, yeah, this is looking not likely for a win, but when you get points like that, you definitely want to try and uplift that mental. You don't want to take too much psychic damage from this game. You want to try and bring a Gengar or a Dark type into this next match. Pretty sure those types take double damage from something. You're living in Gen 1, buddy. Really? In any case, <laughs> Anyways. is uh, now just getting a perfect save. And uh, 10 seconds on the board, Saints Gold holding down the fort. Just everybody's just playing for the next game at this point. 
just passing the ball back and forth, practicing the mechanics, waiting for this one to wrap up. It's almost going to go in another one on the board for the Saints, but not going to find its way in. Christian tossing this one around, and they're going for one more shot. Not going to let it go in. Bears doesn't feel like being that generous to Northeastern University, and they are going to eventually have the ball touch the ground at some point today. Uh, it's an air ball. The next game. It's up in the air. Everything's up in the air. But you know what's not up in the air? The fact that the Saints have won that match, even if they got that one in there. There's still a two-point deficit between yep. them. Overall, this gold team looking very, very shiny, very glistening, very, very good. Yeah, they're making their way throughout this bracket, still fighting strong. They have a lot of life left in them, and it doesn't seem like they have any kind of uh, challenge coming their way right now. Northeastern University, they're playing well, but not well enough to put up a challenge for the Saints gold team who are kind of just feeling like right now they're in a league of their own, but who knows? I mean, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself right now thinking about the series after this one. Not sure who they're going to be playing against there, but if they do, who knows? They could be a lot more formidable than the Saints are ready for. It could be. You never know. It's all up in the air right now. But you know what's not up in the air? This next wet oh, car I've never seen before. Really? Christian piloting that car. It looks like a space buggy. Space buggy? It looks like a moon buggy. I didn't quite you gotta see, see it. this thing. Is it the, I forgot the name. There it is. Look at that. Oh, weird. <laughs> I've never seen someone use that car before. It looks nimble, at least. It's cool. It's I like maneuverable. It. That's in the car he's always in, at least. <laughs> Christian yep. uh, changed things up a little bit for the time being. But in any case, they're going to go for the shot. Christian's going to find it. Doesn't even matter. Christian. Maybe that's the new, new meta. In any car, he's a lethal shot maker. And that's one on the board for the Saints. I mean, it looks like this one has a higher rotational speed uh, based on the, the mass of the car. It looks a little bit smaller, a little bit harder to make those hits. But if you can, it looks like... Uh, it might be the one to get these finely tuned shots. Yeah, I think he, that's what he's going for. I feel like this is trying to go for like a, a trick shotting loadout in Call of Duty. I mean, if you're good enough, yeah, go for it. And I feel like Christian is good enough to go for a little bit more of a specialist car right now. Hopefully getting a little bit more practice and experience on it. You never know when you need to whip it out. And uh, now seems to be the time as he goes for another shot. Back to bash. Makes this one work. Leading now 2-0. Yeah, back to back from Christian with this new car, keeping the opponents on their toes. I mean, how can you even react to that? He's bringing out an entirely new gameplay style, a little bit less methodical, a little bit more surgical in the, that precision, that car. Now Vesh looking to keep on the momentum with his team. Maybe Vesh wants to get a goal of his own here, and there it is. They're just letting everybody have a time at that goal. Yeah, and it's, we're not even a minute into this game now. The Saints leading three points over Northeastern University. Uh, I feel like they're going to have to spend the rest of this game trying to find answers to the Saints' overwhelming aggression and see if they can not only patch that, but use it to their advantage and come to find three goals of their own before the time runs out for this game. Time is of the essence for Northeastern University. They need to start getting some goals and they need to start getting some quick. And there it is. They find one out of thin air. Maybe this new car is built for the offense, but not the defense. Yeah, I mean, I feel like a couple of other factors might have weighed into that goal besides the car, but everything matters in the end. In the game of Rocket League, everyone's, uh, you know, every there's a lot of small things add up, and the car is definitely one of them, and Christian immediately finding another one. I just can't get over how wild this thing looks. Like, this isn't street legal. I mean, you can play as literally Lightning McQueen in this game. I don't know why you're surprised. <laughs> it's space age, though. It's the next generation. Space McQueen. <laughs> Anyways, getting back into the swing of things. Enough about the cars. Let's get back to the players. It's 4-1 in the scoreline currently. The defense from Northeastern is not looking to be up to snuff here. But the Saints offense is looking absolutely impeccable. I mean, Northeastern finding these openings. They're starting to adapt to the Saints' aggressive play style. Starting to find some weaknesses in it. 
exploiting them as much as they can. I mean, look at that. That's a nice shot on the goal, but Besh gets the save. Yeah, Besh in the perfect spot, perfect moment, gets the goal. He knew what he was doing, and he was able to make sure that Northeastern University's attempts were all in vain as he bats that one out of effective goalhood and now we're seeing Vesh try and go on the offensive now with assistance from his teammates Christian landing like a sack of potatoes onto the ground Barrist holding the angle over on the orange side as Christian finally takes things towards He's gonna go for a nice pop-up but Harlequin with a save taking that one up higher into the air for Angel Angebro to take this one to blue side. A nice shot attempt coming. They're gonna bounce it off to the wall and look for a center shot, but it's not gonna find its way. Christian now trying to do much of the same with Vesh as he's gonna bounce it towards him. He's gonna keep it here stuck in the corner. Vesh trying to steal that one out, but he's gonna beat the 50 and it's gonna bounce to the opposite side. But Harlequin's able to send this one back to blue and actually stuffs the goal in, finding one more on the board for Northeastern University. Maybe the Saints have found their match after all. They could have. It could start right here. This could be the journey of a million miles. Has to start with a single step or perhaps a goal or two <laughs> on the side of Northeastern University. There's still two minutes left on the clock. That's a lot of time for them to tie things up. The Saints need to amp up their aggression or their defense. They just need to bring a little bit more to the table here. Absolutely. And Bainsbro, nice finding this interception. This one down, Vesh, gonna tap it up so it's not gonna be on course that they were planning for. Not able to adjust in time to turn this into a goal. Northeastern University seeing if they can throw together a single opportunity to make this work, but no. Sus can get cleared back over to blue side. Saints want to bring this back to the offensive territory that they had before. It's gonna just go over Angel Bro's head. Christian now riding the wall, trying to get this one passed down to his teammates. As we see Harlequin playing patiently as teammates in front try to make this one work for their efforts. Unfortunately for the Saints, Northeastern University is going to be able to stop this lineup attempt from Christian. And we're one minute and 15 seconds away from this game wrapping up. Saints with a two goal lead. Can Northeastern University find a way to tie things up before it's too late? That is the question on everyone's mind with one minute remaining. It's not impossible, especially after they landed an absolutely impeccable goal. I mean, Andre, bro, complete ball control here. And with the demo coming out from his teammates, they had complete net control as well. Getting a beautiful goal with one minute remaining. The Saints feel a little bit worried here, I think. Yeah, I can tell that they're worried by how they're playing. You can see they're a lot more aggressive and they are just hungry for another goal, which Christian finds immediately as soon as the points were getting close. They really found it within themselves to come together as a team and assemble a goal and deliver that goal straight to Northeastern University. Whether they wanted to open that package or not, they had to. And what was inside of it, Matthias? A goal. It was a goal. And with one minute remaining left on the clock, they are not going to let that goal go over to Northeastern. They don't want that to have any chance of going into OT. They want to keep their big barrier ready. They want to keep things going. It's going to be Prosk with control of the ball. Andrebro eyeing it like a hawk, keeping control of the ball, passing it over. Nice shot on the ball, but it's going to be saved out by Vesh. The Saint, the gold team, is going to be looking very, very good. I mean, look at that. What more can you say? New car, new me, Christian getting another goal. Well done is what I can say. It's really impressive how the Saints have been able to overcome Northeastern University's impressive offense. They were really putting some pressure on them for a while there, and now the Saints have come back stronger than ever. They have a second wind, and this looks like a new team. They're not held back by anything. Christian getting a nice demo, hopefully setting himself up for another goal, but unfortunately, they're gonna pass the ball right over his head. Sash on the ground, waiting patiently for it to reach his way, but Barris is gonna get a beautiful save as they were taking a shot on the side of Northeastern University. And unfortunately for this team, they no longer have a chance to carry on in this tournament, but the Saints gold are going to be able to come out on top in the end, winning this one 6-3, 2-0 in the series. 2-0 in the series, and that's gonna be 
two and oh winning broadcasts we've seen today for the gold team mm -hmm. and i believe there's one more match in store here mm. for the saints they're going to be going up against mm. maybe even a team they lost to really Because this is the losers bracket there's always that chance yeah. that they might get a second chance against one of these tougher opponents yeah and i'm very excited to see what that match would have in store especially if it is personal like that if it's the team that <laughs> sent them down you know no it's so things are different i've played a couple more games games than you have at this point and that might be the difference maker in the end those teams are very close and the skill as we see any team playing at this level is one to be feared with it speaking of close we're pretty close to throwing this to a very quick break and we'll be right back with more rocket league action